Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode six of Lightroom Quick Tips. And in this episode, we're going to talk about crop overlays. Now, most of you guys know the crop tool is the first tool in the tool palette. And you click on that, and out of the box, Lightroom gives you a rule of thirds crop overlay. And as you can see, each line is exactly one third of the way horizontally and vertically through the image. And this is a common compositional tool. We like to get our points of interest in the scene in these points of intersection. And um, very common, but it's not the only compositional tool we could use. And what if we want to use a different overlay? And they're available in Lightroom, and a lot of people don't know they're there. And you access them by simply hitting the O key on your keyboard, O for overlay. And we hit it once, and we come to this overlay. And this is a nice one if you have uh, strong diagonals in your image. So you have two lines that are coming right from uh, the uh, diagonals, and you have another two images or two lines that are just off. Um, typically, you want to get something in these uh, points of intersection again. Um, so this is a diagonal type overlay. Hit O again, and we have another diagonal overlay. We have this strong diagonal going right across the image there. Um, but what if your image is going the other way and your diagonal is going this way? Well, some of these overlays you could flip. And the way you'd flip them is you'd hold the Shift key in and hit the O key. So hold Shift and hit O. And you could see it just flipped the diagonal from going this way to going this way. And you hit Shift O again and it will bring it back. So that's this overlay. We'll hit O key again. And now this is the golden ratio. This uses the Fibonacci sequence of numbers, which, you know, I guess, you know, ancient Greece used these numbers uh, to build the pyramids and things like that. Um, and this is very similar, obviously, to the rule of thirds. But instead of being exactly one third of the way through the image, these lines are 40%, 20%, and 40% going horizontally and vertically. A lot of people like to use this overlay instead of the rule of thirds. Hit O again, and we have the golden spiral. And this, too, uses the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. This is one that you could flip. Uh, use the Shift O key, and you could flip it. And I think there might be six different configurations of this if you just keep hitting that Shift O. So you get it to where you want. On this one, I like when I'm photographing animals, I like to get the animal's eye right in this point, right where the spiral either be is beginning or ending, depending on which way you're looking at it. So that's the uh, golden spiral. We hit the O key again, and now we have some crop guides. If uh, you're cropping 5x7, 2x3, 4x5, that helps uh, give you some idea of how much of the image you're going to be losing if you crop. Again, you could hit the Shift O key and you could switch it from a vertical to a horizontal um, format. Hit the O key again and we have this grid pattern. This is good to make sure that your horizontals are horizontal and your verticals are vertical so everything's nice and level. Hit the O key again and we're back to the rule of thirds. So that's all the different crop overlays in the crop tool to help you crop your image and compose your images. One question I get a lot is people want to know if these lines could be made brighter or change the color. Unfortunately, you can't. And I get this question a lot. So hopefully Adobe's listening because quite often in some images, these lines are kind of dull and they kind of blend into the image and they're hard to see. It would be nice if we could change the color of them or make them more intense. So hopefully in a future version of Lightroom, Adobe will accommodate us for that and we'll be able to make these lines brighter or change the color. So that's it for episode six. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I'd really appreciate that. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon.